All right, so Jeet Kune Do has this excellent trapping drill, but I've never been able to find the actual use for it. And I'm gonna talk to Sensei Seth here and see maybe where it comes from and why it exists. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it makes sense that as a Jeet Kune Do instructor, you'd want to come to a karate guy. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> just, just to validate it. What are you guys doing? Get out of here. Uh -huh. All right. So, <laughs> so now, in, in karate, sure. you have like a low block thing, right? Okay. Like uh, like uh, here? Yeah. Like, are you talking like sideways stance? Or are you talking Seth, like a... Seth. You're supposed to know the karate thing. He's asking well, you. I'm asking him which, <laughs> which karate. Like, show, show so, me, like, we'll backwards. Karate. Okay, yeah. Hey, no. First, you have to teach him karate, and then he can do. do. <laughs> so, the, I just know so many different types. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So, the idea is it's called Ping Choi Gua Choi series, which is just words. Okay. But the idea is I'm going to hit low, okay. and then a block happens. Okay. See, the problem is, is every time I punch low, yep. people just look at it. Yeah. Like, they're like, you're like, okay. Like, specifically punch somebody in the leg. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, they call it chop choy, where they're gonna hit with this. It's not okay. gonna do anything, but it'll be annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, you do that, yeah. no one bites. No one reacts. Right. And, and, and but the drill okay. is such where if I go low, you kind of do that low block, bink, oh. yep. and then I'll slap yep. and, and do a come thing. Over the top. Yeah, you're just trying to get my arm down. Yes. Okay. But I've, I've never, I've is that never, a thing? yeah, is that a thing? It makes more sense that if you are going to block somebody's arm that came down, that it would have to come from something like out of the ordinary. Yeah. So this kind of movement uh, for me has always been like interpreted as, which which is in, in my opinion, cool back karate because there is no like definite understanding of bunkai. Okay. So I could just make stuff up. Nice. <laughs> It's the best time. I mean, it's kind of true though, because like Preach. I know that people before me have made stuff up, so why not, right? But in all in, in all honesty, like I have always thought, not always, recently as I've started sparring more and more often, and I spar with guys who didn't do karate as a kid and then as an adult, that like they don't do this very often yeah. to block certain types of kicks, mm -hmm. right? Like if you're throwing like a lead leg side kick, like there's plenty of times I'll go like that, okay, and I'll just try and like chop down and then I'll go. Like there's plenty of movements, especially as you start to get sideways, mm -hmm. where it's like a foam and you're blocking, just like yeah, trying to get something out of the way. You block a lot of you block a lot of my kicks like that when I'm not throwing them hard, when I'm sort right. of trying to feel them out, and you'll yeah. just sort of yeah, like because it's a it's a cool way to like try to punish somebody, mm. like especially if I can get a side kick and I can go bang and I can hit yeah. you like right between the calf and the ankle, okay. like that's gonna hurt, that's gonna suck. Yeah. Um. Also, though, this is very usually seen as like a hair grab to to throw. Oh, cool. Like we're in tight somewhere and I can go boom, bang, and go sorry. from here to there. Wow. Okay. Which is like a lot of like the boom, right? Because yeah. usually that's like a turning movement where I was facing this way and I go boom. Usually it's like something tied up, grab, bang, go. That's super cool. Right. But it makes sense for it to be like it. So explain to me again the, the, the drill. So the drill, ping choi to guac choi, is I go low, yep. you block low, I slap, and I'll go high, and then something happens, and then I react to that variable. That's so, the theory. So you're saying the issue here is that people aren't giving Be you the reaction? No, they aren't. Be it, well, I would imagine because like, like, because, like no, you're fine. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> that's it, because he's trying to make the yeah. drill work. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I punch people in the leg from time to time. Yeah. Like, just for fun. Me too. Because, like, most of the stuff that I do for martial arts is fun. Yeah. So I'll be, like, goofing around and be like, pop. Yes. Because people because people just go, huh, did you you punch my leg? Mm -hmm. Nate did it to me yesterday. Yeah. Um, But, so, I guess to get that reaction, it's kind of, like, no different than going boom and then bang and not worrying about the hand. Right. Just trying to make you level change defensively. Yes. So I can go boom, bang. Right. Like we have a similar thing in our karate system where I go like this and go boom, bang. Like I pull the hand down just far enough to go back this. Back this. It's oh, kind of the that. same concept. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the same concept as just starting here mm -hmm. and going boom, bang. Oh, okay. And going slap, go. But the yeah. only difference is you're like really making yeah. them eat it. Right. And then you can go. Like that hand I, is already further down. I have a theory. 
for Mike, for Mike, it's just theories. Like in the, in the scientific method, like it, they're all just like the theories of it. Anyway, good. we will, we're just not far removed from you saying that you're just making stuff up. Hey, that's what Kai. Hey, but yeah. I practice. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's what Kai yeah. yeah. means. Yeah, yeah. You're documenting right. it, so it's science. That's true. <laughs> Two things. We do People don't things. react to stuff unless you hurt them. Yeah, with right. It. That's yeah. you know. Okay. That's that's, right. that's a given. We know that. Right. So you can get people to maybe worry about a body shot if you dug a hard body shot. Right. If you're aiming super duper low, the other big problem is you might be sparring with people that know what they're doing. Right. And if you know what you're doing, you are not supposed to send your hands down there, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because if it's to your body, you're supposed to use your elbows, oh, or yeah, 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 yeah. or or if you do, that's fine too. But yeah. you kept your elbow high. Yes, you yeah. didn't do this. Right. You're not supposed to do this, right. so you know better. So there's that one, and then there's also give me a big jab to the body. Oh, this sort of oh, blocking, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's never this because we know what we're doing a right. little bit. Yeah. But this this gets into something else. There's some logic to training this stuff because people that don't know what they're doing do yeah, do you reach for this. the hand and yeah, do, do. yeah, for sure. The argument has always been with like martial arts and then self defense. It's like should we train like should we train specifically for people that don't know what they're doing? Right. right. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I think you could if you do train that stuff because if yeah. I a guy that doesn't know how to fight, yeah. if you go like that, he's he's, he's gonna, gonna reach. reach. Yeah. They reach for kicks, I, yeah. which is totally a no no. Yeah, you're not supposed to reach down yeah. for kicks, but you kick you leg kick a guy that's never fought before. He will he will reach his hands down there. Hundred yeah. percent. So th that might be it. That might be why it might have at one point been a legit drill or it might yeah, be a legit well, drill. Yeah, I actually had something to that too. If that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. So please. Like, in your scenario, you're initiating everything. Right. So like in your scenario, you're punching me. Yeah. Now I'm defending. Then you're then initiating. The so you're on yeah. the attack the whole time. Yeah. In reality, the application of that would be you are defending first and right. then applying. So yeah. I go to shoot the jab to the body. You're right. already prepared. So boom. Bang. Yeah. And so you're just instead of making it all you as being offensive. You start off initially as defensive and then apply. And I think this is the problem with Jeet Kune Do as a whole. We've killed the art so much because we're just idolizing Bruce Lee that we take that. I mean, I love I, it. Does I love Bruce? But they're taking this dead thing and they're like, "This is real." So when I'm here, no one trains like this. No. Unless yeah. you're in the movie End of the Dragon. And right. if you are, I mean, I wish they did. I'd be really good at fighting. Yeah. <laughs> if this was it, I'd be so. I'd be. Wild. All these flow drills yeah. would have paid off. Yes. Yeah. And when this is trained, Ping Chui Guo Chui, if I go low and you go low for some reason, and then we go high, then this arm comes back to defend for some reason. Here, now it's like all back to that yeah. one drill. Right. But people don't realize is it's attribute building. Right. Whereas like now you go low and then I'll do my thing and then I get it up and yeah. then I can do other things. Right. It, if it's anything like karate, what te what happened is like, in the nature of it, we had an idea of like, oh, like if I go like this, what did he do? And then I see he it. didn't do anything. No. You know why? Because you haven't punched him in the dick yet. Uh -huh. right. Punch him in the dick one time. I bet I'll send his hands down there next time you do it. That's fair. That's Not a wrong. Good point. Not wrong. <laughs> or the his dick inside his body. Oh my god, dude! If I walked up and I punched him in the yeah, no. I just mentioned it. And he you was did. Like, yeah. I, got, I got nervous. So, but but what, what I was saying is that. <laughs> Like I, the initial thought of changing something yeah. is usually pretty pure in nature. And then what happens is now we both know what we're doing. Yeah. And like you can go back and forth and go da 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 da, mm -hmm. and we're both standing in the same place. And right. neither of us are really in any danger because we don't have gloves on. We're not sparring in a way that's like trying to hurt each other, so right. we can like play with stuff. Like it becomes mannequin training where if my hand is out here, what can you do with it? Yeah. Wow, wow, boom, wow, boom, wow. boom, boom, boom. And you do something to me, and that inflicts pain. Right. And I'm like, oh, that worked. Yeah. That's gonna work. Yeah. Right? And and in all actuality, we weren't like trying super hard to not make it work because we're both minded people of, oh, this is something that I can do really well. I could do this. Right. And and in all actuality, like we are taking away so many variables that it makes it not work. Right. So killing the art, you have to bring it back to life. And this discussion, I think, will help me try and get this a little bit more. Me too. So, Sensei Seth, I see Mike, Rob from McDojo Life. If you like this type of content, make sure you leave a comment. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the bell notification so you never miss my handsome face. And I'll see you guys in the next one. That's good. Eh? You're getting really good. That's what's up, Double A. Double A. Yeah, we're longer than that. <laughs>
Das war's. 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 Das war's.